In this video, I'll work through some calculations on vectors, in particular the dot product, the length or the norm, uh, angles and projections. So let's suppose we have two vectors in R3, u equals 3, 0, minus 1, and v equals 2, 2, 1. So first of all, let's calculate the dot product of u with itself, which is going to be the length of u squared or the norm of u squared. So that's going to be 3 squared and 0 squared and minus 1 squared. So we're going to have 9 and 0 and 1 comes to 10. Do the same thing with v, so the norm of v squared. So this time I'll have 2 squared and another 2 squared and 1 squared. So 4 and 4 and 1 comes to 9. Let's take the dot product of u with v now. So that's going to be 3 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus minus 1 times 1. So that's going to be 6 and 0 and minus 1. So I'll have 5. Next, let's calculate the angle between u and v. So we'll call that cosine of theta. And that's given by this formula here, dot product of u with v divided by the length of u times the length of v. So dot product of u with v, that was 5. And the norm of u is the square root of 10. And the norm of v is the square root of 9. Notice I'm using the word norm and length interchangeably here. They mean the same thing in this context. So let's uh, simplify this a little bit. Uh, I can't really do anything with the root 10, but root 9 is 3. And you could, if you like, leave it like this, but it's good practice to uh, not have square roots in the denominator of fractions, but instead to have them in the numerator. So one way we could do this is just multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 10. So let me do that. If we have a square root of 10 times square root of 10, we'll have 10 on the denominator. And then now 5 and the 10 do some cancelling there. So we'll end up with root 10 over 6. And that's probably the neatest form for the answer there. Let's move on to projections. And first of all, let's do the projection of v onto u. And that's given by this formula, dot product of u with v over the dot product of u with itself. And as a fraction, multiply that by the vector u. So u dot v is 5, u dot u is 10, so we'll have 5 tenths of u, so half of u, so we'll have 3 over 2, 0, and minus 1 over 2. And let's do the projection of u on v. So now the formula becomes u dot v over v dot v times the vector v, and u dot v was 5, v dot v is 9, and v itself is the vector 2, 2, 1, so we'll have 10 ninths, another 10 ninths, and
Finally, let's do the distance between u and v. So first of all, if we calculate the vector u minus v, we'll have 1 minus 2 and minus 2. And if we calculate the distance between u and v, so that's going to be the norm of this vector. So u minus v, the norm. And to calculate that, we're going to square each of these elements and then take the square root. So we'll have 1 squared minus 2 squared and another minus 2 squared. Square root of all that. So that's going to be the square root of 1 and 4 and 4. So that's the square root of 9, which comes to 3.